our expectations for the project is really what we set out for when we started in 2014 is to acquire a piece of land in the city of Sarasota in, in an area that, that was ripe for redevelopment and be able to intertwine ourselves into the fabric of Sarasota. We wanted to become a part of Sarasota. Sarasota has so many great things that are going on from the arts, from the culture, and the waterfront. This is one of those opportunities where we can seamlessly bridge in between those two, whether it's the arts that are to the north of us and then ultimately into downtown. So that's what we're really focused on. And what you'll see in our development and in our infrastructure, it's going to be very inviting. So it's going to invite the public in uh, to be able to utilize not only our central quay and our facilities there and the retail, but then also engage to the waterfront. We felt that was very important. What are you going to have on the waterfront? Directly. Is it going to be more park-like or...? Yeah, we'll have a park that will go directly out to the waterfront and then we will have dockage that will be available out on the waterfront as well. Um, boat launch or I guess the city's going yeah, to be Yeah, not a boat launch, correct. Yeah, it's just launch. Be, you yeah, don't need yeah. that, right. Correct. Um, how involved were you in getting the traffic circle here? Uh, was that a key element to, to for pedestrian friendly and, and get people from downtown to come over? We, uh, we fully embrace that we, we believe that the roundabouts are a good thing. Uh, mm -hmm. We embrace it because exactly what you said, it makes it more pedestrian friendly. Uh, it's important for us to, to connect to downtown Sarasota. We think that's very important. We, uh, we really appreciate what's, what's been done in downtown Sarasota and we're that opportunity for the pedestrian to actually go from downtown through our facility and then ultimately to the arts and to the Bayfront District. Mm -hmm. So we think that's a great opportunity for us. So we embrace that and we've been I would guess you would say we've been advancing that project and process to be able to speed that up. So we're going to fund that up front uh, to get that done here sooner than later. How many restaurants do you anticipate in the development? It's hard to say. Right now, we, we see three to five, you know, initially. That's probably where, at least initially, we think it's going to become popular, obviously, as more infrastructure is in place. A lot of people, it's hard to see today. This is the, the beginning site that sets the stage for that. But, you know, it would be great if we could have three to five signature restaurants. Uh, hotels, one, just one. Or? We think so. We have um, entitlements for a 175 key hotel, so that would, you know, you would think that would be one. You know, whether it's more of a boutique in nature, obviously it's not something of a size. So we think it's going to be more boutique and unique. Mm -hmm. Are you going to? Um, have you approached any hotel companies yet about like a major flag here? We've had uh, several different conversations, mm -hmm. but nothing of meaning. No, nothing not of meaning. at this stage. Yeah, we've really early. been. Correct. Yeah, we want to move and concentrating on the infrastructure and the first tower coming out of the ground. Not, I mean, obviously, if it all goes well with the economy, you would expect it to be a five to seven year project. You know, of that nature. If, if, if things go all go well, um, but if anything changes, you know, those are subjects to change. That's why we wanted to do things incrementally. What is happening with the old apartment building? Almost the old Bellhaven. Yeah. 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 Uh, considered to be the crown jewel of the development. It's uh, as part of the historic society, as you know. It's been on. It's on their record or registry. I want to make sure I say the right thing, but on their registry. So right now we've been actively working on the interior components of it, making sure that it's suitable and stable, and then we're going to refurbish it in the first phase, and we'll use it initially for our offices and things of that nature, site specific, and then ultimately it'll have a plan that'll intertwine into the overall. Um, central place of the quay, so it'll be part of our placemaking effort. You know, your first question I thought was a good one. Are, are we coordinating with the, the Bayfront uh, effort? And we are. Uh, we're very uh, much in support of what's happening to our north. And um, if you look at where we were two years ago at, through our entitlement process, mm -hmm. and then three years ago when Grady um, was instrumental in purchasing the property initially, what's happening around us has really evolved and has come a long way. There's a bit of a hotel cluster that's emerging. The ownership of these two hotels to our north and south, the ownership has changed. The um, Rosemary District has really uh, taken off and, and is, is, um, is emerging uh, swiftly. And then the, the exciting work that Sasaki and uh, A.G. Lafley and his team are doing north of us is just really just changing the complexion of this area. Do you see it as like, uh, instead of individual developments, one whole piece of Sarasota with Bayfront and this? 100%. Yeah. 